with tens of thousands of real estate agents in Houston. It's difficult to know who we are and what we're about beyond all this staging, home tours, polished headshots, and closing celebrations. I'm Dana Williams with Remax Fine Properties. Welcome to my series called Sunday Reflections, where I start conversations with you about the stuff of life that I care about, aside from houses and closings, of course. Sound good? All right, let's do this. Happy Sunday, friends. When it comes to real estate, I believe connection plus trust equals closings. But we're not here to talk about real estate today. And the truth is, I valued both connection and trust long before I got into this business. So, what's connection? For me, it's about discovering that we have something in common, especially in such a polarized world. I think we're better humans when we recognize we're not entirely different from one another. It's also about relationships. I love it when my friends meet my other friends. Once, I attended a conference with my friend Marsha, and she went and grabbed us a seat near the front. She texted me that she met someone at our seats whom she knew I was going to love. When I returned, I had to laugh because she had connected with my friend Whitney. She wasn't wrong. I love Whitney. <laughs> so for me, connection is also about getting past the surface topics. Surface topics. Ooh, that was hard to say. I can do small talk, but honestly, it's not my favorite. I'm usually hoping it's the groundwork to finding out and appreciating what makes you, you. The Journal of Social and Personal Relationships published this study that revealed that it takes like 50 hours of interaction to go from acquaintance to casual friend, and a best friend develops after about 200 hours of connection. Why does connection matter? Well, I think it matters because it reminds us that we're in this together. We live interconnected to one another. What I do has an impact on the people around me, and what you do impacts the people around you. So I think recognizing our connection increases our responsibility to one another to be kind and good humans. It also matters because sometimes a significant obstacle between you and what you want is that you're not connected with someone who can help you. There are so many incredible people who love to share their expertise, their wisdom, their talents, and their resources, and it's such a great feeling to connect people with someone who can help. Maybe it's selfish or maybe not, but my soul just loves a deep conversation. And we can't get there without connection and time together, which happen to be two of my very favorite things. So tell me what you think. What would you add about connection and why it matters?